Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the regression equation and then I believe it's going to ask us to make a prediction. So you have to first click where it says uh, click the icon to view the earthquake measurements. So you start by clicking this little I icon here and then you click this little box and you click open in StatCrunch. And when you do that it opens uh, everything for you in StatCrunch and types everything in for you which is really really nice. Okay, part A, we want the regression equation. So after everything is in here, again, you click this, click this, click Open in StatCrunch. You go to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. Okay, Stat, Regression, Simple Linear. You left click. And then just pick the first thing and pick the second thing. Okay, then that's it. Just click Compute. And there's the regression equation. So it wants one decimal, so it would be 9.8. So 9.8 and then 1.3. Quick check answer. Good stuff. Given that the earthquake has a magnitude of 0.9, we want to predict the death. Okay, so it's asking us to make a prediction for 0.9, for x equals 0.9. Here's where you have to be super careful. So first we have to make sure that r is significant. So if r is significant, then we're going to use the line to make our prediction. If it's not, we're going to use the mean of the deaths, the mean of the y values. So here's r, 0.259. Here's the sample size, it's 50. And alpha is right over here, it's 0.05. That's the level of significance. So I'm going to click this, click here to see the critical values. Okay, you always have to do this, even though it doesn't ask you, because the next part will depend, how you do the next part depends on this. So alpha is 0.05, n is 50. So R is 0.259, the critical value is 0.279, so R is smaller, so R is not significant. If R is bigger, then you use the line to make the prediction, right? So if R was bigger, you would go to Options and Edit, and you would type in the X over here, you would type in the 0.9 here. But it's not, right? R is not bigger. R is smaller, so it's not significant. So what does that mean? That means we use the mean of the Y's to, take our, to make our prediction. So you go to stat, summary stats, columns, okay? Stat, summary stats, columns. You pick the death, you pick the second thing, click compute, and there's the answer. So it'd be 11.8. Oop, got it wrong. Uh, oh, I rounded wrong. It's 11.9. Ho, ho, ho. Scary moment. All right, good stuff. That's it. So I hope that made sense.